So hello guys, now welcome back to yet another video. So for this one, we want to look at how to send emails from RAD system. So when I say RAD system, this basically means we can do it from any uh, unit of RAD system. It can be Node RAD, uh, View RAD, Python RAD, or Laravel. So it's up to you to decide which one you like or which one you're comfortable with, but the process is just the same. And now, unless you need to do some page events with the email, that is when you need to know some basic Laravel or whatever, whichever unit you're using. So let's go ahead and look into it. So you basically go to where we have project settings in whichever uh, unit you're using and go ahead to where we have email settings and click on it. Now you're going to need a few things. You're going to need the sender name. This one does not have to come from the SMTP server. So the very first thing you need, you need an SMTP server. Now after that, you now need the sender name. If you don't have the sender name, uh, it, it's not even necessary. You can just create one in your head. This comes from whatever you want. So mine is Radwil Home, and the sender email can be whichever email you're using or whichever email you want to be used when it's sending. Now the SMTP uh, host server, you'll need it. You also need the server port. This will be the outgoing server port. And the host server should also be the outgoing server port. You need a username and a password. Once you're done with that, then uh, you click OK and you're good to go so i'm going to pause and enter my data all right so after that you have entered your data now click ok so now we're going to look at two things we now we're going to look at how to set the email from the, our page events and you're also going to look at mail action settings so these are basically you allowing an email to be sent every time a record is added to you so that's generally what we want so let's go ahead and do the page event so we're going to do the page event for the videos so come to page events here and go to the videos and we want to do, do this before add okay so let's do the before add so just enter there and double click on said mail so here we are going to want the name of the title so we are going to say update from course or basically whatever you want now the mail body should be we can say hello now the recipient can be dynamic data from the database of which you are going to look at it but and then we're going to uh, uh require to just basically do the connections to the uh the, the field or basically the form to now this uh api basically an api or whatever i don't know so now the recipient we are going to use a static data for now so i'm going to have my email Right, so this is basically the email that we want to be sending our data to. Oh, home and with the eight, all right. So this is what we want to be sending an email to. So you are basically done. But now I'm basically thinking that something has to be there. Maybe assuming you are sending an email, or maybe you are doing an update. So we will have to, to to get some data from the form you are entering. So for this situation, we want to capture the name of the video that we are sending. So to do this, you know, you need to know some static, uh, some simple JavaScript or PHP or Python or whatever you are, you are working with. So if you want to now send an email from NodeLad, now NodeLad is a JavaScript API. So we're using Node.js API. So you need to know how to add a variable inside a string. Now, adding a variable inside a string, we put this now. No, these are not speech marks. They are just some weird things that look like speech marks. They are on your top left side right before you are one or basically on top of your tab if you are using Windows or I don't know how it looks on Mac, but that you won't need this because there is no version for Mac anyway. So I'm assuming you're on Windows. So let's go ahead and write this. So now here, this is where we're going to write our body. So we can say there is, an, is a new video. Now here we are going to pass in the name of the of the video. Now writing a variable inside a string in any JavaScript, we use the dollar sign and these opening and closing curly braces. So this basically tells the JavaScript that compiler that we want to write a variable inside a string. So basically the variable is going to be whatever I want. Now if you look at our async function here, we have a parameter called post data. Now the post data, you might remember in PHP at Classic, we used to do model data to get the field. Now for this situation, before add, we are using the post data. 
If you do this email after a record has been added, now we use this record. So remember that. Now we want to do the before add. So we're going to use post data. So you're just going to come here and say post data dot the name of the field that you want to get your data from. So if you see in my videos in my database tables, I have ID, name, and link. So I want the name for this situation. So I'm going to say the name. If I wanted the link, I would say link. So that's basically it. If I wanted the ID, I would say ID. So I want the name for this one. So I'm going to say there's a new video uh, in the course. All right. Don't worry, don't 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 worry because uh, now this is black and this is this, so don't worry about it. That's just fine. So uh, that's okay. So now we can send our emails. Nothing complicated. So you can now go to where we have our project settings here and now click publish. Now after you've done that, we now want to regenerate our API, our Node API, and uh, all the changes we have made. So that's why we have clicked there. But normally we will just click F5 or just click this green button for the publish all right so now if you come back to your uh, project you first need to notice two things one thing you notice is that in our terminal the front end is is generating but basically it would not be generating the, the reason why it's generating is because i added something in the front end but normally it wouldn't be generating when you have done only the back end configurations so what will be generating is your terminal for the api so you need to check this and in case you run your project or your application before this has completely uh, generated or gave you this that the server is up, you are going to get some error. So don't always assume that is a large system error, but you also need to check that your API is working just fine. All right, so let's wait for it to complete. And before it does that, let's just go ahead to where we have our videos. So this is what we want to add our videos to. Okay, so let's give it time and maybe I'll pause the video and come back when it's ready. All right, so we're back. So now we just want to go ahead and now add a video. So we want to now see if we get the email in our data. So you can say test video. So this is the name of the video. So keep watch of that. And you can just have a link. It doesn't matter. I've not really put the validations or whatever. So we want to wait for this to be added. So if it's added successfully, then most likely our email has been uh, sent. So you can always check out how it's going to work. So let me just open up my emails so that we can see if it actually came. Okay, so something happened in the previous video. So as you can see, there was an error here. So the error has nothing to do with our code. It's something that happened with, uh, uh, I had uh, typed the wrong SMTP details for my SMTP server. So that was a problem with the details with the SMTP. So let's go ahead and do add another video. So I'm just going to create a new one and just say and confirmed video. Okay, so the link can be whatever. Now save here and to confirm that it's sending, you need to come down here and check the execution. So if you get this email sent, that the email was sent successfully. So let's see if we get email sent. There you go. So it says our email has been sent. So if I now go to my emails, then I should be able to see the email that had been sent. So I'm just going to pause again and open up my email. Okay, so if we now open up the email, as you can see, we now we send two videos from the course. So we have the confirmed video here and the test video here. So we have these two. The second one. Uh, let me just mark them. The confirmed videos and the test video. So that's generally what we are we are looking at. Okay, so if we go to now uh, go back to our course here. You see, we have the test video, which is the name of the video we just created, and the confirm video, which is also the name of the video we have just created. And as you can see, the email is coming from whichever email you define here. So that's generate it. So that will be it for this video, guys. If you like, 
you can hit the subscribe button for more videos on this and also there's a link to the course in case you feel like you need to uh, learn more on it i'll share the link in the description so that will be it see you in the next one